Salam and greetings. I'm Norhayati Maskat and I'm from the School of Education, Tillis University, Malaysia. I'm also an Apple teacher. Uh, the AR that I produce using Reality Composer is called Musical Periodic Table of 20 Elements and their Electron Configurations. So I used to teach uh, Forms 4 and 5 Chemistry at secondary level and also Cambridge A-Levels Chemistry at pre-university level. So what I found is that my students were not interested to learn physical chemistry. Uh, periodic table is part of physical chemistry. So they say that it is a dry part of the chemistry lesson. So to spice things up and to cater to all three learning styles, that is visual, auditory, and also kinesthetic, I produced this AR. Now, we all know that we learn through our senses and I observed that when my degree students were shown a rather peculiar uh, song, they remembered the facts better. So based on that, I put in sounds from GarageBand for each of the element in this periodic table. So the element cube will spin to the front while the musical sound is playing. Uh, this will actually help students to focus on the particular element. Um, the buttons, the buttons here, and also the, the group, the signs, okay, here on top, um, they are actually information. They contain information about the rows, okay, these are information, this is information about this row. And this is information about this group. So it goes uh, horizontal as well as vertical. Now at the end of the musical sounds, the name of the element is mentioned. Now this is to reinforce the memory of the students. Um, the iPad or iPhone camera is then moved forward towards the element and the students can see the electron configuration where the electrons orbit the nucleus uh, and the electrons are not static like the one found in chemistry books which is rather boring so this part of chemistry however um, whether it is for secondary or tertiary level is extremely important the knowledge of electron configuration is related to the shapes of the molecules uh, whether it is single bonds or double bonds or triple bonds um, and where you find uh, lone pairs of electrons uh, is much stronger than single electrons and then the, there is the uh, angles of each shape uh, based on this theory called VSEPR which stands for valence shell electron pair repulsion theory and eventually leading to organic chemistry uh, just to name a few okay uh, so based on my students difficulty to memorize the first 20 elements of the periodic table created by Mendeleev and the importance of electron configuration for each element this augmented reality is produced so chemistry is awesome now let me just show you uh, a bit of uh, what this augmented reality is about so we're going to click play um, so all the cards will disappear but when you uh, tap on let's say this button here lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon are elements found in row 2 row 2 elements have two orbits and then if i point to the card here fluorine and chlorine are found in group seven they are also known as halogens group seven elements have seven electrons in the last orbit okay and if i just pick one um element cube
sulfur. Okay, so um, and then if we go to sulfur or any of the um, electron configuration, so let's see this one here. You can see that this is the electron configuration of nitrogen. Nitrogen has seven electrons. Two electrons are in the inner orbit and five electrons in the outer orbit. So in this case, students can actually see the electrons circling or orbiting the nucleus instead of just a static um, picture in the, in the book. Okay, so that's all from me. Thank you.